Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Conversation and this is your host Shiv. So let's go through some news and updates this morning. There's a lot of excitement news right now, especially look at the coin marketcap.com. What exactly is happening? The Bitcoin is about to touch about $20,000 mark. First time ever. Will that happen today? We'll start up to see that the whole day to go. So it's a Sunday and 17th of December. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we'll, we're going to go through some coinmarketcap.com first, some pricing, and then we will go through some this news, which talks about the Bitcoin is definitely a millennial story. The reason why success Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are so successful today because of the youth liking it. And the best example of this is over here in this news. So the last week, uh, maybe last week or maybe a couple of weeks back, in US, the largest largest Bitcoin exchange in US, which is Coinbase, has beaten up the number of downloads of Instagram and Snapchat. Can you believe that? Now, who uses Snapchat and Instagram? It's the youngsters, right? It's the millennials who uses it. And it's quite an indication that the cryptocurrencies of Bitcoin are used by this millennials, by this young generation. And as you guys know, as we all know, any economy is driven by the youngsters, by, by the millennials, right? Right? They decide the fate of an economy. They drive the economy, right? So this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, this scam, guys, which was reported on one of the... Recently, this was reported on uh, gadgetsnow.com, which I wanted to cover on my live session, but I couldn't. So I'm going to cover that today as to what was the scam all about and uh, things like that. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the coinmarketcap.com. Once again, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe uh, because this is the channel we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain, ICOs, news developments, and market sentiments around the globe. Welcome back. Coinmarketcap.com. Look at the price. The total market cap has gone up to $584 billion, very close to $600 do let me know in the comment box below. Do you think Bitcoin is will be touching about twenty thousand dollar today? What do you think about it? Ethereum at seven hundred and fifteen dollar, not bad. Uh, some of the gainers is what I want to talk about. Cardano, something that we covered recently on this channel. Look at the growth, ninety two percent growth. This is created by. Uh, the CEO of Ethereum, right? So this guy was already a part of the Ethereum team earlier and then he's he has created Cardano. Now Cardano is supposed to be a blockchain 3.0. So definitely an exciting project, guys. If you have not seen it, please uh, refer to my video if you want to know more information about Cardano or uh, read some stuff on Cardano. I do think it has a lot of potential. 92% growth in the last 24 hours. Uh, you have Dash finally crossing about $1,000 already. This is something that we already spoke about. You have uh, Stellar, of course, 29% off. Look at Tron is up by 91% up here. But I do talk about this coin, Verge. Verge is up by 300%. Now, Verge is something that, again, I have covered in my one of my videos where I spoke about the five uh, privacy-based cryptocurrencies like Monero, Zcash, and all those, and why I thought that maybe Verge is a good, very good choice for the people who are entering right now in the space, considering the price of Monero and Zcash and Verge. So definitely, Verge is something to be looking out for. Do look out for Verge. I do think it has a great potential. Dogecoin is up by 57%. Uh, so what? I mean, all the cryptocurrencies. Look at Sia coin is up by 35%. Uh, PVX is again a privacy based cryptocurrency which is up by 37%. Quas is up by 48%. Uh, Byteballs is up by 68%. Digibyte is up by 57%. So, yeah, I mean, most of them are up by a significant amount. I mean, all of them are two figures. Definitely an exciting time, guys. But okay, the exciting thing is going to be the Bitcoin. Will it touch about 20,000? Of course, just to give you guys a heads up now, the, the price of the Bitcoin is right now driven by the CME futures trading, which is going to start today. So do look, do look out for that. I think uh, according to the US time, it should start in the evening as for the IST. So, uh, Let's see what happens to the Bitcoin price then. But definitely, definitely an exciting time to be involved into cryptocurrencies in Bitcoin state. Like, let's talk about this news here. Funstrat's Tom Lee. Now, Tom Lee is a CEO of Managing Director or founder of Funstrat. Funstrat is one of the financial firm uh, in US. Uh, let me show you if I can. Funstrat. 
uh, fun stat. Now, he said the Bitcoin is a millionaire story, which is so much true because it is the youngsters, this is the millionaire, this is the youth which drives an economy to a certain extent, right? For example, just to give an example, today Instagram is Instagram because of the youngster, because Facebook is Facebook because of them. Snapchat, Snapchat is mostly used by youngsters and so is the story with the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Most of these youngsters are driving and why would not they do that? Now, you look at this picture here, it talks what does it say so there's a bank behind this guy this guy is using his uh, phone and he's using probably some bitcoin or some other cryptocurrencies now obviously because this makes things so easier the cryptocurrencies and bitcoin allows you to be your own bank you can take you take control of your money right from your phone so why would you actually need a bank right not only you can control you can take a control of your fund right from your phone but even when it comes to transferring some money to anybody across the globe the cryptocurrencies are so faster and easier the banks take about two days three days and there's so many things that you have to go through what happens with the cryptocurrencies you're just a click away just type the address and boom it's gone just like sending an email address right so what he said is right as you can see his picture here so let me just read out this for you so bitcoin will continue to rise so this is what he has to say bitcoin will continue to rise the cryptocurrencies will achieve substantial gain because the millennial generated is interested in it according to lee and uh, yeah this is another example that is given but i do definitely think guys the cryptocurrencies are bitcoin here is here to stay because it is definitely uh, the choice of the millennials of the youth of the youngster this is what they like and the clear-cut example of this i can give you in this news here which was published on businessinsider.in it says bitcoin mania twice as many people downloaded coin bass as instagram last week now imagine the kind of people who are using instagram and kind of people who are using a snapchat most of them are millennials right youngsters youth and what it talks about is according to the one estimate the app the coinbase app which is the largest bitcoin cryptocurrency exchange in us had about 700000 downloads over the single week in december 700000 downloads which is twice as many downloads as snapchat and instagram so guys it's it's very clear who is actually using bitcoin who is actually using cryptocurrency it's the youngsters today instagram is the one of the biggest brand facebook is the one of the biggest brand why because youngsters like it they want to use it they find it easy right and it's the same thing with the bitcoin it's the same thing with the cryptocurrencies it's the youngsters which are now getting involved buying cryptocurrencies sending money receiving money and things like that and this is a huge huge breakthrough for different cryptocurrencies and that is why he has to say of course he comes with a lot of expertise and he has to, he has to say the continue bitcoin and cryptocurrencies market will continue to rise because simply because of the youngsters liking it simply because youngsters adopting it each and every day and this 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 estimate this report of you know having uh, getting double the downloads of coinbase compared to compared to uh, instagram and snapchat is the best example you know best evident of that is what is happening right now most of the youngsters using cryptocurrencies wow this is great so bitcoin keeping me awake at night canadian banking chief now i i think bitcoin is keeping awake a lot many people in the night i do see a lot of whatsapp group and groups on telegrams and things like that people don't sleep till 12 o'clock in the night everybody is talking about cryptocurrency what's up with this what's up with that so definitely the canadian bank chief is also concerned about what bitcoin is one thing that he did say here that i want to share is that he said to call it a cryptocurrency wouldn't be a fair idea because it's not a currency anyway and one of the reason he gave is not a currency because not everyone is accepting it as currency because uh, the fact is yes you still have to use your visa master or maybe fiat money when you go outside you want to buy things you still have to use your normal money you cannot really just step out and buy a packet of bread using your bitcoin or the cryptocurrency so definitely it's not a currency but definitely a crypto assets which has a potential to turn into a currency sometimes in future is what he has to say 
Last, I do want to share this uh, scam, guys. This may be the first Bitcoin scam. I'm sure this is not the first Bitcoin scam. There have been a lot of scams. So this is a report coming out from Delhi. The next time you call for a lucrative deals or digital currency, think twice. Things this gang was crook, flook, fictitious cryptocurrency put up in a website. So they made up a website. Uh, what's the name of this? They called it a cash coins, right? Cash coins. They built up a website. It's pretty easy to for you, for anyone to actually uh, uh, cheat people nowadays and taking it just like there used to be Ponzi scheme earlier, which used to take your fiat money, like your rupees or dollar. Similarly, all these Ponzi scheme coming up today, but this time they don't want your rupees or dollar. They want your Bitcoin. Because of course, Bitcoin is a real money right now, right? So they want to come here and take your Bitcoin. They say, okay, give me your Bitcoin. I will give you so many coins, which does not essentially have in value. They offer you some fixed return monthly or daily or things like that. They have some MLM plans as well, where you know, bring in people, you know, get benefit. And, uh, and, you know, they have been caught. Uh, eventually, they have been caught in Delhi. And it's called Cash Coin. And they have been reported that they were cheating people with the dummy cryptocurrency. This is not really a cryptocurrency, guys. So I do want to say that whenever you want to examine a cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency have a technology called blockchain. And uh, otherwise, you cannot even call it a cryptocurrency. So there is a technology behind cryptocurrencies and most people are not aware of it. So definitely, guys. Be careful with your cryptocurrencies. Be careful with your original Bitcoin and Ethereum. Don't be carried away with these kind of scheme and scam. Uh, coming up with this coin, that coin, this coin. Not everything that is termed as coin is a cryptocurrency. Please understand that. And do make others aware of the same as well. So this is a scam that I wanted to talk about on my live session the other day. But I couldn't. So I thought I'll cover this today. So yes. Just be careful, guys, uh, before you actually get into any fraud, uh, cryptocurrencies and things like that. And the last one I do want to share. This is something that I shared on my Instagram. So these are a couple of talks that you should definitely be aware of. So what is FUD? We must have heard about if you're trading or maybe you're involved in cryptocurrencies, you will know about this term. FUD, FOMO, HODL, Mooning, Fiat, Whale, Bullish, Bearish, ATH, right? So FUD is basically a fear, uncertainty, doubt, wherein... Uh, you don't know what's going to happen so that that's like and there are some people who will create fraud as well like a lot of a lot of bankers create fraud as well uh, fomo is fear of missing out so when the prices goes going up you want to get in you want to get in but that's not the right time to get in and then you have a fear of missing out oh my god let me buy some or else i'll miss out the boats that's called fomo hodl is like holding your bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies for the longer term of course you can decide you can Probably split your portfolio into two, the one which you want to hold for a long term, the one you want to just trade and things like that. Fiat, mooning is going, price going extremely high. Mooning is again, yeah, price going high. Fiat is any money that is that is issued by any government. Whale is the other people who are holding the big chunk of cryptocurrencies, right? And they can impact the price, they can impact the market by selling their cryptocurrencies or buying more. So that's more of a pump and dump as well. Bullish, when the price is going to increase. Right now, Bitcoin is on the bullish mode. Bear is when the price is coming down. ATH is all-time high, for example. Dash is all-time high. Bitcoin is all-time high. And there are many other cryptocurrencies right now. I can see that all-time high. For example, Cardano is all-time high. Uh, Yoss is all-time high. Neo is all-time high, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's all time high and then you have market cap, of course, the total supply into current price, ICO, initial coin offering, return on investment and cold storage is, is a, a hardware wallet like Nano Ledger or Trezor wallet. So that's it. I want to share for you guys right now. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know uh, if you have any question or any um, opinion, any feedback in the comment below. Love to hear that. I will be trying to cover some of the ICOs today on this channel and uh, watch out for that. And thank you so much for watching and hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and give this video a like. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Enjoy your Sunday.